you live in rural Pennsylvania and you hear a chainsaw in the background, it's not that big a deal. Except maybe on a day like today. But if you're in Ridgeway, Pennsylvania in February, it is a big deal. All of these people are getting ready for the annual Chainsaw Carvers Rendezvous. Now the idea of using a chainsaw to create art is new to most of us. But when you see the results, you begin to take it seriously. Personally, I think the chainsaw is to art what the electric guitar did for music. The chainsaw is uh, one of the most efficient ways to do wood sculpture. It's very fast. It's the most modern approach to sculpture, actually, right now that I've ever seen. Uh, it's gone worldwide uh, from country to country, and uh, every year there's more people doing it. It is a really rainy day up here in Ridgeway right now. But during the rendezvous, they take all of these logs and spread them out over across this field. And imagine 20,000 people watching over 200 chainsaw carvers all working at the same time. The carvers come from all over the country and the world, and many of them get here early to prepare. Angie Poglaze from Australia is working on one of her, what she calls, cheesy chips. Angie has been here before. This is my third Ridgeway rendezvous, and um, I have a bit of a fantasy life, I suppose. I spend my whole life saving all my money to travel to gigs all over the world. And um, this one takes the cake, hands down. It is easily the best chainsaw carving event in the world. Angie says one of the reasons this is so good is the warm welcome carvers get from the town. But there's another reason too. It's not a competition, which I think is a great appeal to a lot of carvers. We have carvers who've been carving for three months, carving next to carvers who've been carving for 30 years. And um, they all learn off each other and bounce ideas off each other and everyone's work has become a lot more eclectic and, and um, there's, there's no pressure to perform per se and yet we all do, we always push for personal best, you know, because we're all big show-offs really, you've got to be to be a chainsaw carver. <laughs> now we know that the carvers enjoy the rendezvous, but what about the spectators? People love it. They absolutely find it fascinating. And it's something that they can relate to. When we have the rendezvous, you have 200 saws going at one time. And you have all this creativity going on. And the people walking around, it, it, it's just, it's just awe-inspiring. It really is. So people love the artistry and the excitement and the noise. But why do they have it in February? It's off season. Uh, the flights are cheaper for our international guests, so it really works out well for us as far as all that, the carving community. It seems to make winter go faster. Hey, I've been watching these guys, and you know, all this neat stuff they're doing just doesn't look that difficult to me. Okay, that's done. What's next? A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.